From exciting fan theories to homages that send science fiction fans into a frenzy, new first set photos of the new Alien movie have been revealed. Can screams of excitement be heard in space? Haunting memories of the USCSS Nostromo come flooding back. The Alien franchise has a special place in the beating heart of pulp culture. Since 1979, audiences have loved being scared to death of the titular soulless Xenomorphs. They've been a part of cinema for so long that you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who hasn't had nightmares about them. But like any franchise that gets long in the tooth, new ideas are needed. In comes Erguanian director Fide Alvarez to head up Alien 9. Before going into what the new film is rumored to be about, and that tantalizing facehugger photo wishing us all a happy Alien Day. An introduction to the man behind the camera and a brief history of the series is in order. The film that launched one of the most beloved horror and science fiction franchises of all time started simple. Alien, released in 1979 and directed by Ridley Scott, was a masterclass in pacing, claustrophobia, and tension. It utilized a fantastic cast led by Sigourney Weaver to tell the story of the crew of the Nostromo who comes across an abandoned spaceship on an uninhabited planet. There, a crew member, Kane, gets an intimate introduction to a facehugger that impregnates him with the first ever Xenomorph. No one can forget that iconic scene when the nasty little bugger bursts out of his chest and into the annals of cinema history. Weaver's Ellen Ripley is the ship's lone survivor, who ends the film in cryosleep, hurling through space. Our second run-in with the greasy black monsters was in James Cameron's Aliens. After a half a century just kind of floating through the cosmos, Ripley's found. She wakes up to a future where she has nothing and no one. The quintessential evil corporation, Wayland yutani come to her when a terraforming colony goes quiet. They come to her because that colony is on LV-426, the same planet that the crew of the Nostromo stumbled upon. This time around, Ripley is saddled with a gruff and iconic group of space marines sent on a bug hunt to LV-426, and chaos ensues. Sure enough, Ripley is one of the only survivors destined to the deep sleep again, drifting in space. Aliens is the film that cemented the Xenomorphs as a staple in movie monster history. The third entry saw Ripley on a prison planet, not only battling the Xenomorph that hitchhiked on her ship, but the one growing inside her as well. David Fincher of Fight Club fame directed Alien 3, which could be considered the turning point of the franchise as a whole, because after that, the quality and reception of the movies took a pretty sharp turn. Alien Resurrection is maybe the most decisive in the series. It took the property from its horror and thriller heavy origins to something more stylish, something more self-aware. Then the next two entries were crossovers with its fellow 80s creature feature series Predator. Prometheus touched on the origins of the Xenomorphs and that derelict ship from the first film, and Alien Covenant was the first return to an all-out Xeno nightmare since the fourth movie. That brings us to what's been dubbed Alien 9. The Alien series has always had a history of amazing directors. It started with the legendary Ridley Scott, followed by maybe the best blockbuster director of all time, James Cameron. David Fincher brought a more artistic touch, a feature continued by Jean-Pierre Jeunet. Now it's Fede Alvarez's turn to bring his own style to the franchise. Fede Alvarez burst onto the scene with his 2013 reboot of the extremely popular Evil Dead, which showed his ability to take a property that has legions of extremely loyal and critical fans and do right by them. A success by any measure, the movie really jump-started his career and led to another spectacular, if not underrated, thriller, Don't Breathe. In his second movie was about a group of burglars who break into a blind man's home. They think they found an easy score, but have no idea that the man is a dangerous killer. With secrets so chilling, it shocked audiences around the world. Don't Breathe, much like the first Alien, was all about pacing, tension, and a sense of claustrophobia. Traits that he will almost certainly bring to Alien 9. Then Alvarez proved he can handle sequels when he made The Girl in the Spider's Web, a follow-up to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. So now that we know the story of the franchise so far and the laurels of the director, what is Alien 9 about? Details about the story haven't been released yet, but there have been snippets here and there along with some fan theories. 
All we have is a very brief synopsis released by 20th Century Fox. It reads, a group of young people on a distant world who find themselves in confrontation with the most terrifying life form in the universe. That sounds very vague, but very intriguing. Rumors have swirled around that Fede Alvarez's Alien Project will be a standalone story, meaning that it won't be connected to the previous Alien movies in any way, other than the Xenomorphs, of course. While some fans would have loved to see Ripley or maybe a return of the evil Wayland yutani starting with something new is a fantastic idea that gives the director and the writers a clean slate. And God knows, aliens need just that. Over the years, the timeline and story has been convoluted at best, an absolute mess at worst. For example, people debate whether this will be Alien 9 or Alien 6, a confusion born from the Alien vs. Predator movies. It didn't help that Ridley Scott tried to reinvent the wheel with Prometheus and Alien Covenant, which muddied the narrative waters even further. But with his movie, Fede Alvarez has a chance to return the franchise to its roots. While plot details are slim, we do know some of the actors cast in the 6th or ninth film. Young actress Kaylee Spaney is reported to be the lead. You might have seen her in The Craft Legacy or the HBO hit miniseries Mayor of Easttown. David Johnson from the series Industry will also be in the film. Rounding out the other confirmed and very young cast members are Archie Renault, Isabel Merced, Spike Fern, and Eileen Wu. From the looks of it, Alvarez's film will have mostly unknown actors which will help create this new feel Alien 9 looks to be shooting for. And then there was the photo that sent Alien fans into a tizzy. April 26 is a special day for science fiction film lovers, chosen in honor of the planet that the Xenomorphs were first found on, LV-426. First started in 2005 by a small group of fans that wanted to celebrate the franchise. In 2006, it turned into something bigger when 20th Century Fox got involved. They got involved for a good reason. It was the 30th anniversary of Cameron's Aliens, adding to the mystique of the day. There was everything from trivia contests to prize giveaways and movie marathons. Alien Day also became a platform for the studio to release news on the newest movies, video games, and comics. On Alien Day 2023, they released a photo of a facehugger with its articulated spidery finger-like limbs wrapped around a clapperboard that read, Happy Alien Day. The photo was taken on a familiar-looking set, confirming that Alvarez's film will use the same visual styling that made the movie so iconic. It looked like a spaceship or space colony, much like that found in Aliens. And some fans did some detective work finding Wayland yutani logo, suggesting the bad guys are back. Filming officially started on March 9, 2023. No one knows for sure when the film will be released yet, but the best educated guess is that we'll see it sometime in 2024. It's not a stretch to say that despite going on for over 40 years, despite its ups and downs, everyone is beyond excited for their first look at the new Alien movie. All the right ingredients seem to be in place for the Xenomorphs to return to where they belong, to the silver screen and our nightmares. This has been a look at the new first set photos of the new Alien movie.